I don't know which one's better if it's this one or this one I'll stick with this one just so that you know I look a little bit more golden so yeah we will stick with this color why hello everyone so as you have read in the title obviously we we, we went thrifting so um, it's been a while since I last bought clothes so you know I realized that when we went to the province that it was time for me to thrift also it's really hard for me to speak because for some reason I could never explain I just always have a lot of mouth sores um it's painful I don't know why I always get them almost every video I've ever had I just explain that I have a mouth sore I brush my teeth Every day. Maybe I bite it a lot. Maybe while I'm sleeping. I don't know. Does that happen? But the point of this video is I went thrifting. So if you're wondering where I got all of these, um, like I said, we did go to the province. So that's going to be in Cabanatuan City. Uh, honestly, you could thrift anywhere in the Philippines. Because to be fair, we are a third world country. And, you know, first world countries just love sending all of their excess clothes to third world countries so you know there we have it that's why you probably could find a thrift store in almost every city in the philippines is that true i might be wrong but before we dive into the video you know because i want to be an informative and socially responsible type of person let me explain to you why thrifting is important although i feel like i already did a few videos back but maybe i didn't do it well okay let's just explain it the thing is we consumers buy a lot of clothes a lot in the philippines in 2017 there was a study that showed that a third of the whole Filipino population mostly are Millennials or Gen Z. They buy clothes and then throw it after one use. I don't know the reasoning why they throw it after one use, but it's a reality. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of people in the whole world do the same thing. So, you know, just imagine that's a lot of clothes that are sent to landfills every single day. The point is that we have to be more responsible in terms of our lifestyle when it comes to our fashion, when it comes to our pieces of clothing. I'm not saying just have, you know, a box full of clothes. That's not the point because I still believe that you can be stylish or be fashionable while somewhat trying to be sustainable it's a possibility but there are ways to make clothing more sustainable like making it modular where it's easier to reuse or recycle but then the thing is we're not yet there you know does that make sense we're not yet progressing there you know so thrifting helps i guess that's the point you know instead of billions or, or hundreds and thousands or millions of tons of pieces of clothing or fabric ending up in landfills at least some of them ends up in our home and don't trust h&m okay h&m has this thing where you send in clothes um and then they give you a coupon of 15 percent off and then they say that oh we're gonna be recycling all these clothes and then obviously consumers are oh my gosh h&m is so green i'm sorry that's not the best way. but then they don't recycle the clothes that you know we put in there probably they just ended up in landfills but you still get your 15 percent off let's head on to the thrift haul because i'm pretty sure that's what you came here for so yeah we'll just go ahead try the clothes and let me show you what i got this is the first thing that I got. I feel like the only real reason why I liked this was because I needed lounge shorts or home shorts. But for the sake of the video, I made it a little bit more fashionable. I think my plant hit me. It's painful. So honestly, like I said, I really just bought it because I needed lounge clothes. I would probably just wear it like this with a t-shirt. This is a t-shirt that I also thrifted, right? It's a pretty nice combination. I really like these shorts though. They're very comfortable. It's very rare to have lounge clothes that has pockets. But realistically speaking, would I need a pocket when I'm at home? Most probably not, but it has a pocket. I'm not a huge fan of stripes, but honestly, this one, how do I explain this shirt? It gives me the same vibes as my Star Wars t-shirt, which I do not want to unfold. It's very comfortable. The colors are quite the same or similar at least. It has that tone-ish type of thing. Also, I really like the cloth that was used in it. It's actually quite thick. Also, I really like the thing on the side. I don't know what it's called. Is it called piping? I like it. Now, if you're a bit more fashionable than I am, then you would probably be able to 
I'm sorry, my brain just loaded. You'll probably be able to pull off an outfit like this. It's really hard to walk because I'm wearing really high shoes and these aren't mine. These are my mom's, so thanks mom. Can you see it properly? I feel like you don't. Wait a second. I think it's a little bit more seen. It's pretty good. So that, that's also an option, right? But personally, again, this is this is a little too bold for me. If, if you're basic like me, then you could tone it down. Honestly, this makes me look like a Christmas tree. And I'm pretty proud of that because it's almost Christmas. So if, if you just put a star on my head, then Merry Christmas, everyone. Now, I don't know if it caught your attention, but the pants that I just tried on prior to this outfit was also thrifted. These are the most beautiful pants I've ever seen in my entire life. They're just too beautiful. The reason why I really loved this pair, no. The reason why I really loved this pair of pants is because of the details that you actually see. It has a bunch of straps here and then even more oh straps here you could even make it tighter using these straps and even the back they also have straps this is just the most detailed pants i've seen my entire life and i saw it and i knew that i really wanted it because it's just that good okay also these pants were huge let me tell you they were massive i think they reached until here but since we are in the philippines you can actually get your your clothes uh tailored or altered for very cheap i kid you not so we have a tailor personally my favorite tailor ever not taylor swift i'm, I'm sorry i just have to say that joke I, I i couldn't sleep if i didn't say that joke we have a family tailor in cabinetuan he's sort of located in the place of the public market he could do everything even this one I wanted it um, wide legged on the bottom. His name is Kuya Armand. And if you want to get your clothes tailored, I can leave um, his contact information down below if you want. I just love their whole family, okay? They're very nice people. If you happen to live in Nueva Ecija or Cabinetuan, honestly, magic. Um, I got this sort of polo looking thing and honestly, I love it. It's from a brand Stafford. It gives me cowboy feels. I got the horses in the back. I feel like the real reason why I bought this was because of how crisp it was. It was very crisp, you know? This collar that you're seeing right here, crisp. I'm sort of thinking of more ways on how to style this outfit to sort of elaborate on the beauty of this piece of item. Now this one, um, if you hear a bunch of nee, nee, well that's just, um, I think they're spraying outside. Now this one, this gives me Korean drama feels. This, uh, this jumper is also thrifted. I thrifted this jumper in the same store that I got the pants. If you can't imagine where I thrift clothes, it's really great because they're all literally in just one row. If you're done buying from one store, you just go to the next door, you know? That's that's where we thrift. Um, honestly, I love this jumper. I really love this combination though. I feel like I should expand my horizons a bit more because honestly, this looks great. I don't know about you, but this is giving me I'm smart vibes. I like it. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm overexposing this one piece of item. So fine. I, I'm, I'm gonna move to the next one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really like this one. Okay, so this was something that I was genuinely excited about because first of all, it is Ralph Lauren. Um, I, I, I think it's authentic. I've never had any Ralph Lauren thing, so I don't know how to say if it's real or not real. But I mean, it looks pretty promising. I think it's Ralph Lauren. I know that this is sort of a, a, a trendy one, but then I wanted to do something different with it, so I didn't fully crop it, just made it something like this. But maybe I will crop it someday, but I really love this especially with some high-waisted wide leg type of thing i really love it though do you if you don't i'm sorry you know this is this is the best i can and now that we're done with basically all the exciting stuff we're going back to our real form which is basic this one is the most basic one it's very plain it used to have a bottom that had sort of a, a drawstring which is very weird in my opinion for a top but if you remove that it looks like a very nice square rectangle looking type of top but what's better with it is it's very great with layering this outfit is very beautiful i imagine myself wearing this maybe when we go to australia on a very cold season or maybe on a different country i just keep talking about australia because i miss australia you know i mean this is such a beautiful outfit 
right? I really love it. I like the, the thing where it's literally just straight on top and it's it's just beautiful, okay? Here's what it looks like with the pants, just so that you see everything that's happening. I'm pretty sure those are all that I got. Now that my room is a mess, uh, we're done. This was genuinely fun in a very thrilling experience. Um, I miss thrifting. So thank you for going on this journey with me. Um, we need to end this video here because honestly, there really is no point anymore. Um, thank you everyone for watching. I love you all from the bottom of my hypothalamus over here, but thanks for tagging along. I also fear that I might've missed out a piece of clothing that I thrifted and, didn't, and wasn't able to show you, but I feel like I only realized once I already finished editing this video, bye. I'm kind of hungry, I want snacks, but I really don't know what to eat. I guess I'll just figure it out. Okay, I'll just figure it out.